today's topic we are going to see propagation of light wave through optical fiber so propagation of light wave through optical fiber means how the light will be traveling through an optical fiber okay so in the previous sessions we have seen uh, an optical fiber uh, made of some sort of fiber or a glass which is used for transmitting our light signal okay for transmitting some data or information with high speed okay that is the main purpose for which we are using an optical fiber okay it has got several layers so it uh, the outer layer is a plastic coat or a plastic uh, sheet and uh, the inside coat is the cladding and the middle one is the core okay so our microwave or the light wave okay which carries information or the data is traveling through this particular core okay and we already know we have seen the refractive index of a cladding is always less than the refractive index of the core or we can say that the refractive index of core n2 is always greater than the refractive index of cladding we have seen n2 is greater than n1 okay now how these reflections are happening in this particular optical fiber what are these reflections called as in the step index fiber we have seen this you can see a perfect reflections okay the signals light waves will be going and touching the uh, cladding layer okay and in the graded index fiber we have seen that as the signals are moving towards the cladding the cladding will move away this particular signal such that there won't be any kind of reflection you can see a signal like this yeah so this what's happening in a graded index fiber now let's here we are just talking about how the reflections or how the propagation of light wave is through optical fiber okay now let us say we have three conditions let us say okay now this is an optical fiber let us say the light wave traveling is in the straight line okay what is the expected uh, wave propagation just a laser beam how a light travels in a laser beam what is the physical in a straight form? line in a straight line okay now let us say we are incident or we are giving a light which is moving in a traveling in a straight form through optical fiber so our expected propagation of this particular light wave will be also in a straight line only okay now ikkada manam straight line lo light isthunnam kabatti throughout the optical fiber the light travels in a straight line itself okay now the propagation of this particular light wave is depending on what here we are giving the input straight light as an input okay and throughout the cable also it is moving in a straight line now the propagation of light wave is depending on what then we depend out on the yes angle of incidence yeah so angle of incidence is nothing but the propagation of light through this optical fiber will be depending on how you are giving that light as an input okay input a angle lo isthunamu light ni dan meeda base cheskone throughout the optical cable the light will be propagating let us say you are giving a light in a straight line okay now the propagation of wave at the incident incident wind at starting point of the wave okay so ikkada mana starting point of the wave is like this so always the propagation of light or the propagation of waves depends on the incident angle of this particular wave which is giving as an input starting point lo wave ela start avute alage velthadi okay now let us say it is traveling in a straight line so a straight uh, path or a straight wave light wave is given as an input that is nothing but the incident of a light wave is in a straight line let us say okay now the light also travels in a straight 
path like this. Okay. Now, second condition. Let us say the light is projected like this with some angle. What happens? This is light. We are projecting upwards. There is some angle of incident given to a propagation of light as an input. Okay. Now, what is the, the incident light? What we are giving is having some angle. Okay. Now, tell me what happens to this particular light. Light is straight line. Look, I'm going to project optical fiber. Loki. So the incident light wave, which we are projecting is having some angle. Okay. Now tell me what happens to the light, which is traveling in the uh, optical fiber. Straight up on the top angle of what happens now? You can see it in the diagram. It's easily visible. What happens? See, when there is an angle of incident for a light wave, okay, it directly goes and hits the wall of an optical fiber. Okay. The wall of an optical fiber is nothing but the cladding. Okay. So this light wave goes like this and hits here and again comes back. And again, it hits the other end of the cladding and again, it goes back. Okay. Now, again, it could have a cladding kit again, it comes back like this based on the length of an optical cable or an optical uh, fiber wire. It keeps on making reflections. Now there is an total internal reflection occurring. So this total internal reflection is based on what the incident angle of the light. Okay. So manamiche input bate uh, a particular starting point of a light wave, a angle to start of the dan base our complete light will travel in the optical fiber.